Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day or night in Jesus. Thank you so much for being here with us. Hey, I'm going to try to answer a question I get a ton, and it's how do I pray? You'd be shocked at the number of people, even in the United States of America, don't know how to pray. I've asked people to pray. They're like, what is that? How do I do it? Um, is it some kind of ritual form? Of course, Jesus gave us the Lord's Prayer. I'll give you the reference if you'd like to check it out. Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. Great. And some of the, if you've got a reference Bible, it'll take you to the Mark passage on that, the Luke passage on that as well. Just great stuff on how to pray. And so, I guess just a couple of pointers on how to pray. Um, God knows our heart. So, just and God is a personal being he's not a human except in the man Christ Jesus but God is a spirit he's an omnipresent spirit an omniscient spirit he knows us so when you pray it, it's sincerity is the big thing where you just say okay God I love you thank you for caring for me God I need you even like God I don't understand why you let this one die why you let me lose my job why this one where you just honest with God and you talk to God. Now, a lot of people kind of get creeped out. And I think the reason is, is they're like, well, I can't see God. So what am I talking to or talking about? Well, I mean, it's Jesus. I mean, you just say Jesus, this. And Jesus will understand the Jesus of Scripture, God in flesh in Scripture. And so sincerity is just this huge thing. You don't have to talk in King James English. You don't have to try to come up with uh, a formula. It's not a ritual. You know, and there's all kinds of prayer. Once you get into praying, you know, you can pray the scriptures, pray the promises of God, pray in the Spirit, pray with the Spirit, any number of things. But I'm just talking about the basics of communication with God. Pray just merely means to ask. And in its fullest term, it's, it's communication with God in the sense that we're talking about. That's all prayer is. And so, you know, some people write out their prayers, some people type out their prayers. I understand that they're trying to express to God, but just be sincere. This is just a starting point for prayer. Just those that come to God, the Bible says in Hebrews 11, must believe that He is and He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. And so just talk to Him in sincerity. The Bible talks about going into a prayer closet you know, can he hear you over the TV? Of course he can. Can he hear you while you're playing the video game? Of course he can. But it's important enough, the creator of our soul needs to have some alone time with his creation, you, sentient being, in the image of God. And so these are just a few pointers. And I know some of you that have been Christian for a long time, you're just like, what are you even talking about? Trust me on this. There is tens of millions of people in our world and especially in the United States of America they have no concept of what prayer is they think that only ministry can pray clergy can pray priests can pray they have no idea they think it's some formula uh, maybe they've heard things growing up in certain liturgical churches the Ave Maria or something and they they think this is how you do it and uh, but no, you can have a personal walk with God and talk to God personally. So God bless you. I hope this helps, and I hope you will take advantage of praying to Jesus. Now, unfortunately, you can pray to false deities as well. And uh, But why would you want to pray to another created being? You're created. You know what advantage they have over you. Pray to the Creator, the Almighty God, the Lord Jesus Christ. So God bless you. Thanks for being here with us. Check out our other videos. Subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Join us daily. God bless. Bye.